this is the new LG Nano 76 and this year it really promised a lot of cool new and upgraded features. LG Nano 7 series has traditionally been positioned just below the company's exclusive 8 series. While those sets offer a little something for everyone minus preferential differences in feature sets, the Nano 76 still has a lot of in common with those starting with an IPS screen types. Last year I considered the basic 75 series to be one of the budget versions of the year, so we have high hopes that the Nano 76 will perform better. While it still has similar brightness, it packs faster picture processor, slimmer bezels and awesome remote. Of course, promising a lot of impressive specs is one thing. The smart question here is, can it beat the best in the class? when it comes to picture quality, or is it better to save money and go to a house party? Yo baby, looking real good. Step off. Like you can see, this TV is inside an extraordinary box, well protected with the finest styrofoam. Here is the stand with its parts and the big package with some exclusive literature. Aside from quick start guide, there are also screws, power cable, remote and batteries. Nano 7 is a decent looking TV, it has shiny frame design and narrow bezel that is gently curved at the corners. The stand is made of metal, covered with black plastic and it's got some sort of brush metal texture on the top. Apart from this, there aren't many changes to worry about on this TV, however, a couple of them are particularly significant. In the front, it has much more slimmer bezels than the basic 75 series. In the back, it's still thick, this is expected because it has direct backlight coming from LED behind the matrix. So, Nano will perform better in terms of colors. A look from the left side and back reveals input, and like you can see, there are two USB 3 HDMI ports, and of course, it also has built support for Wi Fi and Bluetooth 5. So, you can easily connect Bluetooth speakers or headphones. For anything else, you can still use optical to analog adapter. On the back we also see that it has 4 holes, so it has support for standard wall mount, but some of rear facing inputs may be difficult to access when wall mounted, so it's a good idea to use flexible wall mount or cable extension. As usually, under the screen is hidden power button and you can change with it the inputs, channels and volume. The LG had brilliant idea, so instead of multiple buttons, you need to press only one button multiple times to get where you want. Now we just need to wait for remotes with one button. In the meantime, the Nano 76 comes with the new generation of Magic Remotes, which has much more stylish ergonomic design with better button layout to improve Smart TV features. It's very nice that it has everything, from number buttons to scroll wheel. Of course, you can also control TV with voice, so it has a special button for that, you just need to press it and magic happens. News! Otherwise, rubber chunk buttons follow your movement precisely, allowing quicker and easier selection of menu items. The remote also has a lot of shortcuts for settings and video streaming apps. With apps number rising, I wonder how remotes will look in the future. I would love to access Netflix via number buttons, like other TV channels, and change order with other apps or channels. In recent years, LG has attempted to make initial set of products quick and simple to use. Like all of LG Premium TVs, it utilizes LG's WebOS system, which offers a bold and colorful smart TV experience with support for latest smart TV apps. It supports Netflix, YouTube, web browsers and many other apps. 
Finding the settings and menu option is pretty straightforward, and up installation from LG Store it's very easy. In general, you will never have trouble finding something, and the built-in mouse pointer in the remote helps a lot in the navigation, so you almost feel like a sharp wizard from the Fantastic Beasts. Though in some situation of loading apps, it could be still a little faster, especially if you compare it to Hisense or Samsung. There is much to like about the LG's Nano 76 type of screen. If you like more colors, it comes packed with IPS and VA types of screens and most of LG's basic 4K tech extras. You can choose from 43 to 86 screen sizes, but the only 50 inch uses a special VA screen, so content is displayed with much better black levels in the dark room. While its colors have limited angle, it still looks very good. Other screen versions have IPS type screen, which has excellent colors from all viewing angles. While being worse in other areas such as deep of black, because IPS screen allows more light for more natural or richer colors. LG has also improved dimming, so there is less light bleeding in the dark room. The HDR capabilities of this TV doesn't really stand out in the sunny room, because it has peak brightness around 300 nits, but it looks very nice in the dimly lit room. The best part is its viewing angle which is better than on most TVs. Nano 76 could be used in extra wide room and you can expect the best possible colors from every side. The LG delivers well calibrated overall picture quality and still offers its usual pack of picture adjustments with vivid movie and expert modes in addition to numerous other adjustable presets. Your first stop should be the movie picture profile, which has the optimum brightness for dimly lit room. If you find it too boring, you can pump up the color slightly and you will have a perfect profile for everyday use. Be careful though. Can you hear me, Morpheus? I'm going to be honest. So you don't get lost in the matrix. I must get out of here. I must get free. 50 Nano 76 has good picture quality in bright and excellent in the dark environment. It performs very similarly to Samsung QLED 6 series with slightly more vivid calibrated colors. Of course, this can be still tweaked with expert picture mode if you prefer more natural colors. YouTube works great with the new LG remote thanks to its direct voice search integration. Trailers! Here are the search results for trailers. Yes. And it has support for the latest YouTube launcher, so that's mean it, it is also a lot easier and faster to use. <laughs> if you still like to download movies, LG still has one of the best USB players around with support for our popular video formats, so you can play almost any movie without a problem. And like all modern players, it supports custom settings for subtitles and many other things. The 4K picture looks convincing and without strange artifacts, HD channels show up quickly and when upscaling standard definition, Whenever from tuner or web results in a sharp picture. The noise is also good, so the noise reduction processor does a great job, so the picture is sharp and generally free of noise when upscaling low quality sources. The picture settings include the new option to turn off the blue backlight, which in my experience definitely enables you to get a better and warmer contrast from it by the tweaking the backlight setting according to your conditions. The built-in web browser is easy to use thanks to a simple navigation and good remote. The interface has had few minor tweaks in the last updates, otherwise it's still similar to browsers on the phone, 
I think LG's browser is one of the smartest so far and it's much easier to use it with a magic remote in comparison with other TVs. The LG's combination of laser pointer and mouse wheel simplify the browsing while typing using on-screen keyboard is still known challenge. It's a lot easier with a USB keyboard or voice. News! If you like to play games, LG has a very special menu just for gamers. So you can quickly adjust everything. When you connect a PlayStation, TV works best if you set in the game picture mode, which can achieve impressive low input lag, around 20 milliseconds, depending if you are playing 4K or 2K games. You can also install games directly on the TV from the LG App Gallery, though they look like straight from 80s or 90s. Audio quality is where things can surprise you, especially if you compare it to some thinner TV sets. Its sound menu includes many profiles to help to improve sound quality. Twenty-watt built-in speakers have a good mid-range sound. Hey Toronto, you ready to go back to work? Voice is clear and with no distractible distortion, while the bass is more discreet than shocking. It still outperforms everything else I have heard in its class. Do the effects sound great? when volume levels are in the medium range. The Nano 76 is almost ambitious 4K Smart TV, which managed to be affordable at the same time. Featuring some exclusive specs that include quality direct LED screen, with wider color view angle, and its motion handling and speakers are also above average. Crucially, its picture quality is on par and in some sense even better than on most good budget TVs. In comparison with more premium QLED or ULED TVs, brightness levels could be better, but it still has very good contrast in its class. Gamers will love to play games on this TV, because it has an inspiring gaming profile and settings. As far as user experience goes, it has all the important smart TV features and it has excellent remote control. That said, the Nano 76 is definitely going to be one of more popular TVs this year. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about technology, subscribe and we will see you soon.